Hello guys, welcome back to Algorithms Made Easy. We will go through the day 5 problem from the May Lead Coding Challenge. Given a string, we need to find the first non-repeating character in it and return its index. If it doesn't exist, we need to return minus 1. Given the string lead code, we can see that the L is the first unique character and is at index 0. So the result becomes 0. If the string is love lead code, we can see L, O are repeated while V is the first unique character at index 2. So we will return 2. It is also mentioned that the string will only contain lowercase letters. Here is the algorithm we would use. We will initialize the result variable with the maximum of integer value. Then we will start iterating over all the lowercase characters. We will find the index of this character in the input string given. If the character is present in the input string and its last index is same as the index from the previous step, we will update the result. Result will be the minimum of result and index. Last index is the index of last occurrence of the character. Once we have iterated over all the characters, we will return the value of result if it was updated in the process. If not, we will return minus 1. Let's try it with the second example input of the problem statement and see how the result changes. We will first initialize our result with the maximum value of integer. Now we will start iterating from character A. As A is not present in the input string, the index of function will return minus 1 and thus we will not update the result. Same for character B as it is also not present in the input. As C is present in the string at index 8, also its last index is 8 as it appears only once. So we update the result variable with the minimum of index and result. It is clear that the minimum value is 8. So result gets updated to 8. Moving to D, it is also a unique character present at index 10. So its last index also becomes 10. But here the minimum of result and index is still 8 as 8 is less than 10. Thus result value won't update. Coming to E, we can see it occurs more than once. Its first occurrence is at index 3 and the last occurrence is at 11. Since both of these differ, we will not update the result variable. Characters f to k are not present in the string. So we will move ahead. Coming to L, we can see that its first index is 0 and last index is 4. And as these are unequal, we move forward without updating the result. Since M is not present in the input string, we move to next character. Same for N. Now comes O. We can see that the first and last index of O are different. So again, we do not update the result and move ahead. Characters P to S are not present in the string, so we will skip those and move forward. T is present in the string and its first and last index is 7 as it appears only once. So we find the minimum of result in index. As 7 is less than 8, we update result to a 7. Moving ahead as character U is not present in the string. V appears only once at index 2. So we find the minimum of result and index. As 2 is less than 7, we update the result. As characters w to z are not present in the string, we won't update the result for these. Now, as the value of result has been updated, we will return the result. If this would have not been the case, the value of result would still be max value of integer and then we would return minus 1. Here is the actual code snippet of the method. Also, check out the link to the Java code in the description below. As the time complexity for index of operation is O of n, the overall time complexity for this algorithm becomes O of n. The space complexity is O of 1. Thanks for watching the video. Check out link to the Java code in the description below. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Check out my other videos for more interview problems. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the video. And also, if you want me to make a video on one of your problem statements, do comment.